Hello everyone, welcome to week 36, Simple Machines 3 and 4. Believe it or not, there are 6 simple machines which make up all machines in the world. I'm not talking about computer parts, I'm talking about the physical components. Okay, so uh, here's a funny story. Once upon a time, Mr. Tenor did most of this recording with his microphone off. So, now I have the microphone on and I get to do it again. Oh boy. Anyways, um, there will be videos here and here, which... Slide I just like slide to video. Okay. The point of those videos will be uh, that they will not be via YouTube. They'll be via Google Drive, so they might be easier or more viewable for some of you. Let's get into it. Simple machine three pulley. Every extra pulley makes it one time stronger. Very easy. This is the easiest, in my opinion, um, in uh, system or simple machine to learn. Because to find the mechanical advantage, you just count the pulleys in layman's term. Uh, so that's one pulley. So this system has advantage of one. That's one pulley. This mechanical, uh, this system has a mechanical advantage of one. Let's read this problem, this example problem. What is the mechanical advantage of a pulley system with one pulley? Well, that's very simple. It's one. Because if it has one pulley, it's one. Every pulley makes it one time stronger. If it had two pulleys, it'd be two, three, three, and so on and so forth. All right, pulley problem for you to do. What is the mechanical advantage of a pulley system with four pulleys? Well, you can count them. One, two, three, four. Four, so easy. It almost seems like a trick question. Four, so easy. But I'm going to let you do that. Okay, simple machine number four, four of six, uh, is inclined plane. And that's very easy as well. The equation for it is length of slope divided by height equals the mechanical advantage. We can see that over here, we've got the length or effort distance. So that's the length, this long line is whatever it is. And then the height is over here. So you just do length divided by height equals your mechanical advantage. Pretty simple stuff. Let's look at an example problem. Example problem. If a person is walking up a ramp with a length of four feet and a height of two feet, you'll notice I used simple numbers. What is the mechanical advantage of how, what is the mechanical advantage or how much easier is it for the person to walk up the ramp? Well, we just got how to do, how to do the problem right over here. We just go ahead. Well, we plugged in the four from over there, plugged in the two from over there. The feet are actually going to cancel out. We can learn about how units cancel out in eighth grade. Um, let's get a little prep for eighth grade. That equals the mechanical advantage. Four divided by two is often two. Um, actually, it's always two. So that is our mechanical advantage. Inclined plane problem for you to do. If a person is carrying a box of a ramp with a length of nine feet, at a height of three feet, what is the mechanical advantage or how much easier is it to get the box up the ramp? Believe it or not, I've got this simplistic little picture down here which shows a ramp, also known as an inclined plane. Um, and you've got a length of nine feet right here and a height of three feet. So what you can do is you just go ahead and grab this little equation right here and then you put it right there and you get rid of these numbers, get rid of all of these numbers, and then you just put numbers in from the equation. So you'd put your nine feet up here and your three feet right here, and then you would do nine divided by three and you would get your answer. The feet or the units would cancel out. I will let you do nine divided by three though. I fully believe in your ability to do this problem. Obviously easy problems, so clearly the objective is to teach you about mechanical advantage and not to have you do super complex math problems. All right, here are my office hours. If you happen to want to uh, ask me questions, some of you did, kudos to all of you those who asked me the question those, um, you can click this link and you can go do that. If you just wanna look at the other simple machines that exist and see some real world examples, those are right here. Um, if you want to see the various equations for simple machines, you can look at last week's, we had two last week, this week to this week um, and next week. I don't know if I'll make you do them, 
but I will hopefully give you the equations at least for the final two simple machines. All right, having said that, that is all I've got for you guys. Thanks for seeing through the video. Thanks for the great year in STEM, and uh, see you hopefully next week, and this week, and whenever you're on. Have a good one.